G'day guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Organic Power. Welcome to all the new viewers. Today I'm going to go through how we collect our energy for our 15 kVA Victron Energy off-grid solar system. We have three MPPTs. 450-200, the 250-60, and the 150-35. These all feed into our battery bank. And then the house is supplied from the three parallel multi-plus units. I'll take you outside now and we'll go through the arrays, show you how they're wired and the different configurations. The first array sits over the top of the power shed. It provides added protection from the elements. A bit of thermal protection from the sun and a, another layer of protection from the rain. These were just uh, leftover panels. This little array consists of six 250 watt panels, two strings of three connected in parallel back to the 150-35. This next array is made up of 440 watt bifacial panels. These are all connected in series and feed into the 25060. On top of the workshop, we have 14 270 watt panels, two seven panel strings connected in parallel, and they feed into channel two of the 450 200. Got an 11 panel string on the roof there, a westerly. One single string, 270 watt panels, feeds back to channel 3 of the 450-200. This string is a combined east-west, that's a northeast, and the little one on the shed it is an easterly. And last but not least, we've got these two easterly arrays. The bottom one here, 16 panels. Two strings of eight connected in parallel. Back to channel one, of the 450-200. And then above it, 12 panels. Two strings of six connected in parallel. This goes back to your channel four of the 450-200. It's very cloudy and wet here today. We'll go up on the PC now. We'll check out the figures, see how the system's performing. We're in the office now. This is the organic power remote console. It's 2.7 kilowatts coming in there. Very cloudy today. So 
2.2 kilowatts coming from that 450, 200, 450 watts from those bifacials on the 250, 60, and that little array that just protects the shed on the 150, 35, we've got 180 watts. So still 32 amps to the battery and running the house. No air con today, nice and cool. So that's just the base load of the house. We've got uh, seven fridges on site here. Uh, I think there's four chest freezers and then fridge freezers. So the kettle's just come on there. My wife's just making a cup of coffee. So we've gone up to three kilowatts on our AC load. That'll drop back down once the uh, kettle will stop boiling. And back to charging with around 30 amps. So now I'm on the organic power VRM. Here are the arrays. You can see uh, exactly what they're all bringing in there. Two thousand nine hundred. Not too bad on a really grey day. So it's twelve twenty two here. It showers twenty two degrees. Is the system operating 30 amps still into the battery AC loads come up a bit and we're getting a little bit more input from the PV Twelve thirty-seven now making a little bit more power there Scroll down to the last 90 days of consumption. We've got 5,382 kilowatt hours. I'll bring up the calculator. Five, three, eight, two times 0.32. We pay 32 cents a kilowatt hour here. 1722 Australian dollars. We would only use about $800 usually. The last bill we got that was on grid was for $879. That's the highest bill we've ever received. And that prompted me to do something about it and go off grid. So the extra use, usage is from using air conditioning whenever we want to use it now, rather than being governed by the cost. It's been far more comfortable this summer. Far less humid in the house. This means no mold and mildew.
that'll give you a rough idea of what it takes to provide enough power for a 15 kVA off-grid system. So this is the worst case scenario really today. That's why I thought I'd make this video. Any other day when you got a little bit of sun, your batteries will be charged by 11, 30, 12 o'clock by the latest. This shows you the calculated output of the arrays. Got the little one over the shed there. Six panels facing east. 1.5 kilowatts. The carport, northeasterly, six panels, 2.6. Got the workshop, it's a combination east-west, 14 panels, 3.7. We've got the westerly on the house, 11 panels, 2.9. Got the 12 panel easterly, 3.9 and the 16 panel easterly 5.2 so the total power from the array slightly over 20 kilowatts all right guys thanks for watching like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Garden's getting a nice water today. It's always good. Hit that notification bell. You'll always know when the new updates are coming out. Alright guys, take it easy. We'll catch you in the next one.